Bonifacio Paulo. I'm serving with the uh, Woodleaf Bible Translator. I uh, was in Stellenbosch with uh, my family since 2012 until 2015. And there I realized that the International Student Ministry in Stellenbosch, run by Yuri and Maggie, is playing a great role. You know, as uh, many students come all over from the world to, to, to the university, there are two crucial elements that they need. One is someone who needs, who, who, who explains where things are, where to find furniture, where to find food, and where to find accommodation. Maggie is, is there. And the other component is the, uh, the, the, the spiritual side. You will agree with me that uh, it's not only politics, but even in church, there are specific cultures that are accommodated in the church. So from outside, the question is, where will I get my spiritual food? So this ministry has played a great role. I've seen lives change during the time I was there. So thank you so much, you who support this ministry. And you should know that you have done, you are doing great job spiritually and academically. And even if you are not traveling somewhere, you are going um, to many places. May the Lord bless you. While I was at Stellenbosch, fans really provided a home away from home for me. As an international student with no family who I could stay with or spend time with close by, I really loved the interaction that fans provided. We had Bible study on Wednesdays, choir practice on Fridays with lovely, joyous fellowship. And then Sundays was a fantastic day where we all got together for quite a number of hours and we just worshiped and fellowshiped together. It was really a home away from home for me. And I'm sure I, that a lot of the people who were there at the same time will say the same. I really miss it everybody um my name is dion kandima from zimbabwe i've been here in stellenbosch for the past five years four years yeah um being part of the international fellowship has um enabled me to be part of a fellowship where i can feel at home where i can literally call the pastors and the leaders of the fellowship papa and mama and actually mean it because of the space that they've created i think um, it've allowed me not to actually miss home. Uh, I've been here, I've been feeling like I'm at home. And also uh, the exposure. I think for me, one critical thing is to be challenged in different ways, um, spiritually and also mentally. Um, the, the level of guests or the effort that was made um, to bring in speakers that challenge and that move us in a way of thinking has been or has, was a really great experience being part of the International Fellowship.